and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The asset store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for June 23. This one is a list of paid systems and tools. In the last video I already covered the best free new assets, and in the next one I'll be covering top visuals and effects. As always, there's links to the asset in the description, and as a bonus you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. By the way, I'm currently working insanely hard to get my game demo ready for the Steam Festival next week. I've implemented something like 10 different mechanics this week, really productive, the game is really starting to take shape. I can't wait to have you all play it, I really hope you'll like it. Make sure you add it to your wishlist, stay tuned for a testing livestream this weekend, and go play it on Monday. Alright, so starting off with a very impressive verified tool, it's called Hot Reload. If you don't know what this means, then basically it lets you edit code without having to recompile, so you can have the game open and playing as normal, then you decide you want to change something, not just in the editor, but actually in the code itself. You can just rewrite the code, hit save, and the code will somehow magically compile in the background and continue running the game with the updated code. This is something that is usually not possible at all, so this is an amazing tool. This can really help speed up iteration speed. I've heard great things about this tool, but I haven't used it myself just yet. Definitely need to try it, it looks extremely impressive. Then here is a very surprising one, which is RPG Maker Unite. Basically, you've got RPG Maker directly inside Unity. Honestly, when I first heard about it, I was quite confused. I thought maybe it was some kind of joke, like putting Unreal inside Unity. But in reality, it actually does make sense, since RPG Maker isn't necessarily meant to be a game engine, but rather it's more of a game maker tool. So looking at it like that does make quite a lot of sense. This version pretty much integrates RPG Maker directly inside Unity, so you can easily build your worlds with tile sets. you can use all of the Unity tools, then you can take from their massive library of assets, you can grab characters and environments, and create entire games all without coding. It's definitely a very surprising thing, but this is a very interesting release. Next here's an interesting one to greatly improve performance in your games. A while ago I made a video asking the question, could you build Zelda inside Unity? The answer is yes of course, but it does take quite some work to optimize it. This tool is one of the ways you can do that. You can take a bunch of individual meshes, and then combine them into a single one, thus reducing your draw calls. The world is split into chunks, and meshes are generated while using a very efficient algorithm for very low memory usage, so if you're working on a game with a large open world, you definitely need to use a tool like this one. Next, here's a small simple tool that does just one thing and does it very well. It's called Project Log, and it's a way to write some kind of log directly inside Unity. So there's no need to go to an external website or app, it's all right there inside Unity. You can write whatever you want, maybe it's a to-do list, maybe some design notes, perhaps a message to a coworker, or really just something so you don't forget. It's a simple tool that does exactly what you want. Then here's an interesting one, it's AI text-to-speech. However, the important part is that it's all fully offline. Text-to-speech can be an interesting feature to add to your game, but making it require an internet connection is usually a deal breaker. So the fact that this one runs entirely locally, that one is great. It supports over 15 languages with over 900 English voices. It works on all platforms except for some reason on WebGL. Next here's one that looks extremely complex, but potentially very useful, although I'm still not entirely 100% sure what it does. It's called Texture Studio, and apparently it's a layer-based texture creator, so you can have tons of layers with all kinds of data, like different skins for your characters or vehicles. Then during runtime, you can choose which layer you want to be active and easily blend between them. You can dynamically modify the elements in all the layers and do all kinds of manipulation. The results in the video do look quite impressive. You can almost run something like Photoshop directly inside Unity. I can see this being quite useful if you want to make tons of variations for a game and do it in a more dynamic way. Then if you need some hyper-realistic physics, here's an interesting one. This one caught my eye right away because it has physically accurate propellers, meaning they rotate and in turn that rotation actually generates lift. When I look at this one, the idea that comes to mind would be making a digital twin of a drone, then perhaps use ML agents to train that drone inside Unity to fly itself, and then build an actual drone in real life and run that code. Assuming the physics here are indeed accurate, that would be a really fun project. Next, if you need to populate a huge world with tons of vegetation, then check out this one. You've got tons of tools at your disposal to add all kinds of rocks, bushes, trees, and really anything. The important part is that all of these elements snap to the terrain, so it's really easy to position them. You don't have issues with objects slipping the terrain, it all works kind of like a decal. So you can place all the objects, then you can implement wind, seasons, wetness, height blending, and a bunch more. Up next, here's a nice one for helping you make tutorials. One thing that I always dislike is text-only tutorials. I find that it really breaks the flow of the game if suddenly I have to read a huge wall of text, so I'm always a fan of short videos to teach whatever the tutorial wants to teach, and this tool helps you do that, among many other things. You can create a bunch of categories and tutorial items, then assign a video and some text, then it's up to you to choose how the tutorials are spawned. It could be when the player touches something, or perhaps during a loading screen. And lastly, here we have an interesting one. Strangely enough, this one actually shows up as free when I'm logged in. I guess this one is free if you 
already have some other Infinity PVR pack. Basically, this is a tool for easily combining audio clips to create brand new ones. Maybe you can combine two impact sounds into another new one. You can assign all kinds of layers and then to create all the unique variants between them. So with just a handful of inputs, you can easily generate hundreds or even thousands of unique sound effects. And then you can also add some delay to the clips. So one example of how that is useful is on taking some character voice lines and easily combine them together into a single audio file. All right, so those are my top 10 new tools and systems on the Unity Asset Store for June 23. There's links to all in the description. And as a bonus, you can use the coupon code monkey 10 to get 10% off your order. Also check out my own free and pedas on store. Stay tuned for a testing live stream this weekend and go play it on Monday. All right, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.